Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're playing a nice city building game called Kingdoms and Castles. And don't worry if you're not familiar with this game, I will do my best to explain everything of what I'm doing. I wanted to challenge myself today by playing the hardest difficulty of the game. I have never played that before, and just for your knowledge, this game can be brutal at times. Ooh. I was going to say that Dragon didn't do a lot of damage, but it kinda did, so this might end up really, really badly for me, but I'm down to try. We are going to play with standard mode, thank you. No threats, nah, -uh. easy, nah, -uh. winter, hard. Falasurvar, mmm. Okay, this is just a survival, like you will be dead no matter what, so I'll go with the hard difficulty. And my mission for this is to play with an AI and try to actually conquer them, that's like my end goal. Banner. Let's see what kind of banners. We are going to go with the eagle, of course. And what is our island or our place called? This is the hardest part of any game ever. Okay, this is super uninspired, but Eagleport. I am not good with names. We're gonna go with Eagleport. We will add an AI. The game is already on hard difficulty. I think we will just go with a medium AI. And we're just gonna check around this place. We can generate the map at the moment from here. But I kinda like this map already. There will be three islands. I could add another AI. Fuck it, let's do it. Let's play with two AIs and I think we are going to land over here. So we have stone, we have iron, just the basic resources that we need for our city. And there is some good farmland. The darkness of the ground tells us the fertility. So there is a lot of good farmland here and there is stone close by and wood. So I think we are going to start around here. Let's put our keep down. Like that. There we go. Now we need... We have five people in our city, so we will have to make some houses for them. This is too far from my road. Oh yes, we need to build roads as well. So let's just build a quick road right there. And a little hut right there. There we go. Now we will have houses for our people. And we will need to get more houses if we want more people in our city. And one thing that we need is wood. So we are just going to manually shop these trees. I like the art style of the game. And when you see the axes animated, there are actually people going to shop them. Like these trees are still waiting for people to chop them. Now we will get some wood. There is a forester, but we need... Oh, we need stone for the forester. Damn, I didn't remember that. Uh, there is some good stone here. We could make a road around the backside and into this and make a quarry here. But first I will need to make some more houses if anyone visits the place so they can actually stay here if they want to. I just love the animation of these guys. They just seem so excited to go to work. They're just carrying the lumber like, yes, I will get this here. No worries. Alright. The first year has gone past already, and we don't have food. You can see the food right here, and if we go here... Okay, you have to click it. Um, yes, we are using 10 food per year. We have 22 food, so we can survive two years without actually making any farms or anything. So I will risk it and make the quarry first. There we go. We can place the quarry down, and it's raining, that's nice. But yeah, with the quarry we will get stone, and with stone we will unlock the other recipes to make the forester, etc. And there seems to be a wolf game here. Hello. Hey! Uh, people joined, nice. Four people visited, but only two found satisfactory home. But there were some people, yeah, three people joined before. So we actually got the other house full of people now. So let's just make another house here. I'll give them the road as well. There we go. We will have the quarry ready soon. There's the last wood for it. And we will need a forester. I think this is a good place for forester. And we need some wood to 
actually build it first. And we need a road for it as well. So I'll just continue the road this way. Let's see, the forester. We need five stones. Do we have anyone working here? We have three workers, four workers now. Just vibing there. Alright, we are slowly but surely getting some stone, but our food is actually running out. We're using a lot more food now that we have a lot more people here. So, yeah, we need some roads this way. And I will start making a farm right here. There we go. I place the farms in a circular pattern because soon we will get the windmills unlocked and with those we can improve the production around the windmill. So that is why I made it in a like donut shape. We will soon have the stone that we need but we are running out of wood again. So I'll just continue this path this way. Maybe cut down these trees here. I want to save these trees for the forester, because the forester needs to have some wood or trees around it, so it can actually be placed down. At the moment I'm just worrying about the infrastructure of the place, because there will be dragons and raiders attacking our place and we have to protect it. But they don't come in the first 10 years, if I remember correctly. They have probably changed it, maybe. Or even on the hard difficulty, they might come sooner. But on normal difficulty, they come at year 10. So that is our place for the forester right there. I will just carve a path through the wood. There we go. We have our cute little farmers here. Hello, dudes. We are running out of wood. I mean food. We have one food. I'm sorry, dudes. I'm sorry. I should have put down a few farms right in the beginning, maybe. But at least at year two or three. I might have been a bit late, but hopefully this will be enough food for us now. Okay, we got actually quite a lot. Okay, they still had food. I thought that was all that I got. But yeah, hopefully this is enough. All our people are on the farms. There is actually no reason for them to be there. Because during the winter time you cannot grow crops. So I could go here and take out the farmers just away. Disable it like this. But I will let them be there, but I will just move it to the last space. How the job priority tree works is what you have on top will always be filled with the people. But now we have the lace carved for our forester. We can build a road up to it and we go here. There we go. We have a forester now. The forester will cut down trees and plant. Oh, what the fuck? Well, that was fast. Uh, Forester can cut down trees and plant trees, but damn, it just got fire for some reason. I have no idea. But these guys are going to get water from the river and hopefully put it down before it burns to the ground. I just built that. Like legit, just placed it down and it just combusted. Interesting, interesting. There is another wolf cave here. Wolf caves are actually bad for me, because they can kill your civilians or your peasants, your villagers. So we need to get rid of them at some point as well. But at this time we have a lot of stone, we have a lot of wood. We can build better houses that can fit more people in them. I kind of want to have the living area right here maybe because this will be farmland all the way and there might be another farm here 
but there is a lot of good space here to build a city. I do this here and start to make another road from here. And damn, the structure is 4 HP. Interesting. There are like Mason. Yeah, Mason. 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 Fuck. There are Mason buildings that can repair damaged structures, but we don't have the money for it. We actually need to start taxing our people to get money. But to make that, we need a castle and yeah, it's the treasure room. It costs 40 stones, so we cannot even build that right now. So I will just try to make my people's life a little better here in the city. So I will make a, a marketplace right here. Or what is it called? City center? What did I place down? Town square. There we go. Oh yeah. It has like Halloween decorations. Halloween is coming soon. We have a lot of wood. And we don't have tons of uh, food at the moment. So actually... We need the farmers to be on top. I might actually have fucked us over. Because no one has been doing farms. That's really bad. Hopefully we are not dead. <laughs> Hopefully. We might be. I'll just make a road through here. So I can start to make like more farms here. There we go. And hopefully, just just go farm, please, people, <laughs> please. We have zero food. Our health is not good. The health works if we have, like, more diversity in our diets. The people will be healthier and they will not be so keen to getting sick. So we need to fix that at some point as well, but that's not the main priority right now. We have 10 extra beds, so there can be people just joining in, so that's good. We kind of need the treasury now, so I will make the quarry go to second place here. So whenever the builders have been done building, they will just go to quarry and work there. But we need to fix the food situation at the moment, that is really bad. I didn't notice that. These are the other island. We cannot see them before we scout them. Like we actually have to send our units to here and let them scout the area for us. But the other AIs are somewhere over here and somewhere over here. The snowfall is so relaxing in this game. Alrighty, year eight. We are doing okay with the food. Dragon side at year 8. Alrighty. So yeah, these are the dragons. This is the smaller dragon. And they go around the place. Usually they don't attack right away. And as we can see, the AI already has like archer towers protecting themselves. We need to do that as well. But we need the money first to be able to make any kind of military units. So we really need to get this quarry working. We can actually... Close this, close this, close this, sorry. We don't need this much food at the moment. We need quarry workers. There's the dragon. It's just going around and checking all the places. I didn't... I don't think he actually attacked anyone this time. They usually just go around the place for the first time. And next time they will actually attack. But the thing that I'm worried about is the raiders. And that is why I want to make the some kind of protection for my city. We could actually start building some walls. Congratulations! A kingdom of Eagleport is now a small village. Nice. I want to start making protection, but if I do that, the jobs at the quarry. Actually, I can do this, so the quarry workers will work all the time. 
And now I can actually start building some defenses. And I think I might want to leave two space here. Make it like this. I will have farms here. So maybe like three space here. But I don't want to get too ahead of myself. I usually just make two future proof plans and then I get fucked because nothing is ready and already protecting me. I, I need to build the protection in a small scale first. Oh yeah, we are already out of wood. Damn, okay. We will make the timber workers do the work as well. There we go. So now Quarry will have people working there all the time, the farmers will be working all the time, and timber workers will be working all the time. And then if we have people over, left over from those jobs, then they will go and build. We have the 40 stones so we can actually make the treasure room and start taxing our people. Where should I put this? Like your keep and the treasure room are usually the most valuable targets for the raiders, so I want to have them in our base, like pretty centralized. I wonder if I would put it here. Yeah, I'll just put it here. There we go. So now we actually can set the tax rate for our people. The more you tax your people, the angrier they get, but you can counterbalance that by providing them with hospitals, libraries and taverns, etc. to make them happy. Our city is full, so I just... I want to make a new house right there. How many people do this house? 12 people. Goddamn. Those are quite huge. I think we are going to get... What the fuck? Okay. We just lost a big house. That's not nice. We can rebuild that and hopefully our keep will stay in health. Okay, our keep. We didn't lose our keep. <laughs> Oof, okay. Uh, I need to build a well here as well. A uh, peasant recently homeless. I'm sorry, people. I am building you a home. Do not worry. So yeah, uh, fires are a thing. We need a well. Well, 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 um, I think I will put it right here, so it will cover most of this place. Hmm, yeah, I will just put it here, because when I expand the city, it will be right in the middle of all the houses, so people will have access to water from their houses. That's a lot of food, nice. Okay, food shouldn't be a problem right now. I could actually close, close, and close. There we go. So I need more people to do the construction. Right there we saw the happy faces because we got the house ready. Now all the people have actual houses. And we will construct the other house as well and we will have some excess beds for new people. And our new home just combusted. But we got lucky because it was raining. <sighs> okay. There are a lot of... There are a lot more like wildfires in hard difficulty. Okay, can you just construct a well, please? It needs five more stones. That shouldn't be too hard. Um, quarry workers are actually not the most important at the moment. We have a lot of stone, so I will just do this. We have tons of food. Yeah, we should be good for two more years with all this food. Maybe even three, because there are quite a lot of food here. We kinda need another forester, but we'll, we need a lot of stuff. Let's just start with the another forester, because we need a lot of wood to actually start building our town. Creek fire emplacement. There are some new turrets as well. 
That's cool. I have never seen this here. When I played the game last time, there were only Archer Towers and Ballista Towers, so this is nice that they have added some new content for the game. Okay, our another Forester needs to be four tiles away from the other Forester, so I think I'm gonna do it right there. So there will be space around here if I want to barricade them with walls later on. But right now, foresters are not the most... Oh yeah, I... Hmm. I forgot about the wolves. Actually, let's cancel this. So our people don't die to wolves. Can, can you stop? Oh, we have to use another tool. Can, can you stop, please? These people, don't, don't go there. Okay, uh, there is the wolf cave. This is an empty cave here. So I think I will make a forester right here. We actually got a lot of wood from chopping down these trees here. And there should be a nice space for a new forester. There we go. Now we will have two foresters. We will get wood faster. And we can actually barricade ourselves before the bandits come. Something like that. Okay, we are like 40% there. We almost have walls around our base. The problem with wooden walls is that raiders can just set them on fire though. So this is not the best, but this will at least protect me a little bit. We could make a tavern for our people. That will boost up the morale a lot. So... Just about here, maybe. I'm thinking somewhere centralized here, because I wanted to build it down here. But there, the taverns can only serve a certain amount of people. So I think I will just build the tavern maybe right here. Next to the hit down square. There we go. We also need some charcoal maker. There we go. They will burn down wood into charcoal so our residents can actually heat up their homes during winter, etc. So they will get a happiness bonus from that as well. These tend to combust, so I don't even want them like near our houses. I think I will put them here, but I will also make a well here as well. Alrighty, now we have charcoal. And people's happiness should go up a little bit maybe. Oh yeah, uh, we have the treasury, but we haven't taxed our people at all. This is telling us plus 16 last year, so we should still be okay with food. But I will just start to tax our people just a tiny bit. Our people's happiness is actually trending up. It's going to 65, even with 10% tax, so that's fine. If we put it up to 20%, it's gonna go down to 62 only. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep it at 20% then, so we can actually start to make some money. And I want to protect my people, so let's continue building the walls. I don't think I will be able to complete the walls and do some protection before the raiders come. Here you can see that there is two more years till the dragon comes back. I can really not do anything about the dragon at the moment. Like, you have to have a lot of ballistas to actually kill the dragon. When you who do kill the dragon, you will get meat out of it. So you get food, that's pretty nice, and a happiness bonus. We actually are not getting any tax because we don't have tax collectors. Hmm. I will put the builders under charcoal makers. Now all the jobs will be filled above. Yeah, we need more people to fill these jobs. So. Let's start constructing more houses. Blam, blam. There we go. Two more houses right there. I could just make a road here. 
just to make it pretty. <laughs> Our city is already looking great. Like, this is a pretty good start for a hard map. I would have thought that we already would be, like, burning up in flames and just screaming for our lives, but this is going pretty good. Sire, no one is available to build. Damn. Um, okay, we need the builders. We don't need the farmers at the moment. We are good with food. So we can do this. Hopefully. Actually, hmm. Once the food is collected, then I will do that. We don't need the money at the moment, or the charcoal. So let's just do this, and then put the taxes down. So we will just skyrocket our happiness. So, the happier your kingdom is, the new people are more likely to join your kingdom as well. And we have 70 happiness, that is really high. And we almost have our new places ready. Now it's winter time. The farmers can't do shit. So we can put the farmers back here. There we go. Alright, what well you have two new houses and a dragon is back. Hello dragon, please do not. Do not. Please don't. No, no dragon, please. Okay, we don't... Oh, there is a archer tower in our keep. I did not know that. That's nice. Okay. Ooh. I was going to say that dragon didn't do a lot of damage, but... Uh, yeah. It kinda did. All of my people are just trying to <laughs> trying to extinguish the fire. Damn. That is just one attack from the dragon. Okay. Damn. We need to build a well close to our farms. That sucks. There we go. A well close to the farms. Can you extinguish these, please? Please, guys, please. Uh, rebuild, rebuild, rebuild. Oh no, and Vikings attacking, no! We got just done with the dragon. Ooh, at least it's raining. But we got just done with the dragon attack, and now there are Vikings raiding us as well. Oh no. Okay, well. We can't do shit. Actually, we could try tax our people. We just need three coins to make an archer tower. That could help us a little bit, just a tiny bit. And we can try making a wall here. There we go. Archer tower on top of the wall. Please builders, build this. Oh no, the Vikings are attacking from here. Oh, okay, our keep actually killed all of the raiders. Ooh, okay, that's good. So our keep is protecting this area. That's quite a big area, actually. That's nice. And we will build another archer tower here that will protect this area. And you can see this area here is the maximum range that the archer tower can protect and the range increases by how tall the walls are where the archer tower is placed so that is why i just spammed the walls as high as possible and our people are starving damn 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 farmers three oh yeah we only have three farms that oh no uh open 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 i was way too distracted by all the Awful stuff going on. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. We will rebuild our farms here. Vikings in waiting. What? Again? What? No. No, 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 no. They're just leaving, right? They're, they're just leaving. Hopefully. <laughs> Alright. Um, hmm. Our town was looking good. Not anymore. It's kind of a ruin at the moment. 
but yeah, we, we can manage this, we can survive. Alright, we got some food, hopefully we can manage this, hopefully we can survive. But I think I will leave the first episode right here. This was a lot of stress. <laughs> like, this game used to be like my go-to game for a chill gameplay, but the hard difficulty is actually a lot of stress. This is kind of fun though. I really like the game, I really like the art style of the game, and the city building games are just fantastic for me. I really enjoy playing these type of games. Hopefully you have enjoyed this so far, because I'm having a blast with the game already. I absolutely love this game. But I will leave the episode right here, so if you have any comments, feel free to comment down below. I read every single comment, and I really appreciate all of you guys watching. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!